That is how thick I like my plectrums. 0.8 millimeters. 0.88 millimeters. So now you know. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, first of all, apologies that it's been almost two weeks since a video. I, I did try and get one out last week, but things piled up and long story short, I couldn't get it out in time. Um, very soon I will be embarking on my crazy challenge, uh, which will involve me attempting to dribble a football across Britain. That is next week. Um, and this is why the, the videos have been far and few between and, and not very high production, if you like. Uh, it's another GeoGuessr video today and we're going to be checking out this map again for the fourth time because um, it's been really popular, it's been really fun to play. Interesting photospheres in obscure countries. Over a thousand locations, uh, very popular and just lots of opportunities for some great detective work which is what we love. Uh, you guys can play along, do follow the instructions in the description. I'll say no move, they're photospheres, so it's fine. Um, some of you are probably wondering, you know, how the preparation is going for this dribbling Britain, as I seem to have named it. Uh, pretty damn good. I'm training a lot, I'm going on regular uh, long hikes, um, and that's one of the reasons why um, I'm so busy. Uh, but I won't give any more away for now. Let's play some GeoGuessr. Okay. That is interesting. Villa Lelydorp. And this language here. In Hartje Lelydorp. In Apartmenten te something in Hartje Lelydorp. So that sounds Dutch to me, but it could be Afrikaans. But we're not in South Africa, look, it's too tropical. Down here we have a family. Couldn't begin to tell you what sort of ethnicity they are. So I'm thinking, before I turn around anymore, that we might be in some sort of, you know, Dutch overseas territory. That's what I'm thinking so far. Uh, and the tropicalness would back that up. We've got a fire engine down here with some dudes. Um, SR. KBS.SR, does that say? Or S7, it looks like, but it can't be that. Most people seem quite dark skinned, but maybe a mixture of, of shades. Uh, yellow number plate down there. We, yeah, we, we buy a fire station. That much is clear. Oh, we've got a flag. What is that? That is a fl that's a really cool looking flag. Oh, is that a star in the middle? So, is it Suriname? Maybe that has that flag. I'm not like a hundred hundred percent on all the flags. We've got yellow number plates. This is one thing's for sure. As I check to see if we are recording, and we are. Um, one thing is for sure, I've never had this country before. These bright yellow number plates, the Dutch writing, different coloured roofs. Um, some of these cars actually have seen better days. Are they just there as like a kind of, for a laugh? Are they just, or are they actually being stored there? I don't know. Or were they burnt out very recently? And no one's had a chance to move them. I don't know. People seem quite happy here. This seems quite quite a nice place to live. The, at least these seem happy. Maybe they're the criminals. Maybe they're the ones burning the cars. You can never judge a book. That's the thing. And we've got a fire station right here. So if you were going to burn a car for a laugh, for a bit of a thrill... Um, that would be a sensible place to do it. Just light it by the fire station, run off. No one's probably going to get hurt. They're probably going to extinguish that pretty soon. Although, having said all that, I don't even know if they've actually been on fire. They haven't been completely burnt out. Fire service doing a good job. Tom, 
Yeah, shut the fuck up. Okay. Um, let's have a look at Suriname. Because I might be wrong about Suriname even being a Dutch thing. I might be totally... Oh my god. Lelydorp. I've seen it straight away. So I was right. Dutch... Yeah, Dutch-owned Suriname. I and mean, you can see some of the le the names here. De Jong, South, Stolkers, Saiva. Very interesting. Right, we're in Lelydorp. And we're hoping that we can find... Well, what we got? What we got over here? Can we, can we read any of it? Can't really read any... Any actual businesses. So I'm going for the fire station. Would that be it? No, that's a hospital. What would a fire station look like on the map? Wait, where's the comp... I always... There we go. I've got the compass going. It's when I delete all my search history. And then I have to sign back into GeoGuessr. And it forgets that I like... It forgets that I'm stuck in my ways. And that I like the old compass. Right, so that's changed things around a bit. So... Let's have another look at the map. Right, I haven't found this fire station, so what do we do? There's the compass. We've got this main road. It's kind of coming. Could be that one. Or more likely this one. I want to get a perfect score, see. I don't know if I've had a perfect score on this. In fact, let's before we go any further, let's find out the the highest score that I've ever got. I'm going to go there um, temporarily. Howdy. Fuck you. Um, 19785. Yeah, 19785 then is what we're aiming for. I am going to write that down. <laughs> That is our target, and that's a good target to beat. We're kind of in the at the mercy of the geo guessing gods, though, of course. But you know, it, it depends what rounds we get. It, we could be screwed over big time. Um, but we'll try our best, and this is definitely a round we can get points on. So, am I gonna try and get uh, and find this fire station? I think I'm gonna trust the angles a bit. That's north, so. I'm, I'm going to trust the angles and I'm going to say that we are there. It's probably wrong, but we can't be too far away, can we? That's where we were, apparently. Uh, we've lost three points. So, look, um, it, perfect score ain't really going to happen. Let's see if I could actually have got that anyway. There's no... Nothing actually really adds up too much there. The compass was probably wrong. Where's the road that was here? That just, I believe, is wrong. Uh, I'm not saying I was right, but I, I don't know what happened there. Maybe one of you can work that out. Let's move on, though. Let me know if you did get a perfect score. And this looks incredible. And it, it's another one of those ancient Roman or... Yeah, I would say... I'm no historian, but... It's going to be one of those Roman or ancient Greek uh, or an ancient civilization built this. I'm I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stick my neck out and say, and this is going to be nigh on impossible, isn't it? We know that um, well, we don't know a lot here. We're, we're obviously going to be in the northern hemisphere. There's only a few countries this could be. Um, you know, around the realm of the Roman Empire or the Middle East, the Babylonian kind of regions. But even better than that, we've got an Arabic name that has taken this, Muad Bumud. Muad Bumud. And it's, it's not just Arabic, it's... And again, I'm not an expert at this kind of thing, but that sounds to me to be kind of Iranian, Iraqi kind of name. Might be wrong, you know, and even the fact that it's taken by an Arabic named person doesn't categorically mean we're in, you know, we could be in Sicily. It might be a tourist, but 
it's just odds. We're working with odds here. That's what you've got to work with. So, uh, I might be I might be wrong about that Iraq thing. I think I'm going off Mahmoud Muad Bumud. I think I'm going off like presidents' names here. Mahmoud Abad. What was his name? The Iranian president. I ain't going to say that. Anyway, this is incredible, by the way. Like, can you imagine what this was like as a city? I mean, absolutely amazing for this still to be here in some way. I'm not going to get this. There is no, there's not much point in me searching. This could be in Turkey. It could be in Syria. It's quite green, isn't it? And we've got mountains in the distance. Big mountains over there. But it is quite green. I don't think... And look at the grass as well. You know, we've got like little weeds and thistles and stuff. I don't think we would be... Last time we were in Tunisia, weren't we? Which is always an option. Oh, we've got, we've got an O-U-N. Which we haven't got in the name, but... An O-U is good. So we could we could be in Tunisia very easily and this could be like a Roman structure. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to have a little bit of a look on the map. And this will be hugely sped up. Um, right now I'm searching in Tunisia just to see if any Roman sites jump out at me on the map. Then I'll line it up to any surrounding mountains and the shape of the if if we if we zoom in on the correct roman site I'll probably get it that's the good news and that's why I'm searching wish me luck <laughs> the last one was actually in this country wasn't it algeria which the romans also you know all the coast they had so i will i will look in the northern reaches of algeria actually and just see if i can find any big ones hey i like this guys um in one screenshot there's two b o u s b o u Boomood. So this sounds Algerian, these names. So that makes me feel a bit better about this. I'll keep searching. <coughs> Just after I've stopped sneezing. Oh, it's huge. Algeria is so big. And you've got to zoom in so far to find these things. I'll... I'm finding one Roman. As soon as I find one that says Roman, I'm done. <clears throat> I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I haven't seen anything better than this. Seems to be a lot around here. Lollius Urbicus sounds pretty damn Roman. Quintus Lollius Urbicus. Um... Let's just go for it. I'm dreading a terrible score here. There you go. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. We were directly south of there. And we were hit. Oh, Timgad Roman ruins. I wonder if that's where we were before. It definitely wasn't the same photosphere, but it could have been a different part of Timgad. Don't think it was. No, I think it was, you know. I think we had a different photosphere in that same place. Because I remember saying Tim Gad as opposed to Steve Gad. Wow. Points-wise, this is okay. We knew, you know, we know we're not going to get a perfect score here. So it's just about keeping those points up. That was a bit lucky in the sense that I'd had an Algerian Roman round before, but so would you. Well, those of you who watched that video. Next one. Right. Now this is a far-flung place from the Roman Empire. We've got 
Asian letters. I can't be asked to think of a better phrase than that. I don't care anymore. St. Regis. St. Regis. So, kind of Western words there. St. Regis. It's English, isn't it? Could be, could be a few languages. Could be Latin again. St. Regis. So that's a hotel, right? So this is the St. Regis Hotel, maybe? Um, can't read where we are. It was taken by Ben Luck. Ben Luck without the C. Uh, let's hope he brings us some luck here. We've got blue number plates. Is that... Is this Hong Kong? We've got blue, blue and black number plates. I just can't remember a lot of this stuff. Got mountains in the background. Huh. Um, I'm. F I think I'm fairly happy with Hong Kong at the moment. Can't be Taiwan because the number plates. Can't be China. I don't think they'd have Saint Regis in China. I guess in Shanghai or something like that they could. Uh, mountains in the background. Yeah, I think. I, I can't read anything else. So I'm going to make this one a fairly snappy one, guys. Partly because I don't want to have to change my mind halfway through. I'm just going to go. It can't be Japan. It can't be South Korea. Because we don't have the... It's not the right script. So I'm going Hong Kong. It could be Macau, but if it's Macau, that's all right. It's only over the way. So I'll go Hong Kong, and I'm going to painstakingly look for this hotel. No, not really. I'm not going to do that. St. Regis. I could have a quick look. I mean, you know. Well, we're not going to be there. We're not going to be there. I'm going to go here without looking anymore. Fuck it. Fuck it right off. Look at that. We are in China. What? Wow, this is quite fascinating. So this Lhasa, is that like the capital of Tibet, so to speak? I think it might be. It looks like it's the biggest city, potentially, in Tibet. But there we go. Are we really there? Really? Doesn't look like we're at the St. Regis Hotel there. Was it even a hotel? I don't know. Wait a minute, we're not playing that absolutely awful map, are we? Can't see a Regis Hotel, so it's a bit annoying, that is. A little bit annoying. Well, that was frustrating on both sides of the, uh, of the reveal. And it's a frustrating points haul. One, two, four, five. We've dropped big points there. Can we beat 19785? I don't know that we we can, but these two need to be so good. So this is the goal now. These last two rounds need to be almost perfect. Come on. Again, we're still in the lap of the gods, but I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work to try and beat the record because that was poor that last round. We didn't have much to go on. Salic photography, and we've got a flag. But it's one of those flags that could be a few flags. I th I'm thinking Jordan at this point, but we'll keep looking. Is that a flag there? That huge... That actually looks more like Afghanistan, if that's a flag. Let's keep looking round, because we've already got two flags. We might have more. Um... It does look pretty poor. Um, I don't know. And Afghanistan as well. Uh, here we go. Salic photography. Come on, give us a domain. That is an Afghanistan flag. Black, red, green. Where was I seeing white on that one? I think that's the sky there. That bit there. It's the same colour as this. So we're in Afghanistan. Afghanistan can be deceivingly kind of northern looking and if you look on the map that's because it is it does it is it borders tajikistan and uh uzbekistan even are we in kabul 
Well, we've got mountains over there, so I'm going to look on the map. Salik photography, we've got mountains to the south as well. So we know we're in Afghanistan. We know we're probably not down here in the deserty bits. Helmand province. In Kabul, we do have mountains to the east and we do have mountains to the south. So that could correlate. It does correlate. It, it, there's quite a lot of different ranges in and around Kabul. Are they big mountains with snow on in the distance? Or, or am I just... Am I seeing things there? I'm not sure. They look like big mountains to the north east. That could be those, couldn't it? They look bigger. So, actually, I, I would... If anything... I'd be looking in this area because we've got mountains to the south but not that big and then we've got big ones over there doesn't mean we're necessarily here but the road would correlate it is going at that kind of it is going at that direction that's good I mean imagine if we found imagine if we got this guys imagine Salik photography I'm going to have a little look because you never know. You just never know. Please be on the map. You've gone, you've really gone to town with the shop front. Photography questionable, but you've gone to town with the sign. Could do with an update, actually. But you've made an effort at some point a few years ago. So please just put it on the internet, put it on Google. So, if, if we are here, I don't think his shop is on here. Just to get things into perspective, it's so likely not to be, it's, it's it might not be Kabul. Kabul is, it's only 50-50 that it's Kabul, even. We could be there. You know, I don't know. We'll see. I think it's fairly likely to be Kabul, but we'll see how close I get. Here goes. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh, we've lost. I, I don't even know if we're still in it here. We were 51 miles away. Good job I went to the eastern ends of Kabul. That's where we apparently were. The road was even more of an extreme angle. He's not on Google, so I was right about that. Yes, get in. But it's a hollow victory. The mountains to the south were quite far, and the mountains to the northeast were very big indeed. You can see how tall they look. I mean, that is proper Osama Bin Laden territory, that is. Yeah, so moment of truth here. A double whammy. What's the next round? Okay, that looks promising. But we can't... Wait, can we do it? Yeah, of course we can do it. I don't know why I keep thinking we've lost loads of points. More points than we have. So if we get a perfect score here, of course. And basically we need 4,000. We need... Four, we need 4,100, something like that. I won't work it out exactly. Right, this says Quibuka25. And I'm, of course, I'm wondering how many of you are beating me here and will beat me. As always, let me know in the comments at the end. There's the flag. So we have a flag. I mean, th this is what we need. But whether that's a country or an overseas territory of another country, I'm not sure. It could be either, because as I said earlier, I'm not 100% on all those little tiny nations. I'm struggling to think what that that is. We've got yellow number plates, but they're kind of like European shaped, but definitely not European. We're in a tropical sort of place. Those cars are, is that a Toyota Corolla? And that might even be a Toyota MR2 or some, or Mazda maybe. So potentially um, Asian cars. We've got a fairly big city up there. That's interesting. Pretty big city. And so this, Quibuka. 
Quibuka. It sounds to me like a sort of Australasian, oceanic name, like out here somewhere. Could we be on Vanuatu, something like that. Whatever it is, it's got to be. It's got to have a fairly big capital to it, as you can see up there. I mean, those are some pretty big buildings. The main question I've got is: Is Quibuca the name of this city? If it is, then great. We'll find it fairly quickly. I would have thought, but I don't think it is because I think I would have heard of it if it's this big and built up. This is just my first hunch. I'm looking at places like this, you know, um, places that I don't know much about. Quibuca. So I, I can look at languages. So this sounds, this looks French. Vanuatu is a oh, Rue Cornwall, Rue Edinburgh. I think there's been some real serious mixing trading of uh, land there. I just don't think, I think these islands that I'm looking at are too small. What we've got over there is so built up. See, that could just be the name of the street. It could be a really fancy apartment that you stay in. What what does the 25 stand for? You know, number 25, Quibuca, Quibuca Road. I don't know. I don't think we're in Samoa. I don't think it's this built up. So where does that leave me? Um, oh no, this this is going to be tough, but I'm so determined to get this. So we've got the Caribbean, but Quibuca for a start doesn't really remind me of the Caribbean. Where's the sun? Kind of in the south, if anything, but it's pretty damn westerly. We can't really use that. Um, let me have a look through some of these Caribbean places. St. Lucia, Barbados, St. Vincent. Let me have a little look. Martinique is just all going to be French. There's no point. Dominica. Pretty English as well. Guadeloupe. Montserrat is small. Anguilla. US Virgin Islands. Right. That is one big place. Willemstad. Look at that. Cabo Turbos. Cabo Turbos. Kaya. There's definitely like an old language that's still got an influence here. Seru. There's a lot of apartments here. Mahai. I'm liking the language. It does seem to fit. This might be totally wrong, guys. We, you know, I don't know. Right, let me search this place because it's big. It's built up. It ticks a few boxes. It's built up. It's obviously the right um, tropicalness. It's in the southern hemisphere. It's in the northern hemisphere. Just the flag, I can't remember. It's obviously owned by the Netherlands, so that would make sense that I wouldn't know the flag. Um, and also, what I thought was the sea out here isn't. It's kind of hilly. So leave it with me. Let me let me check. just looking for Quibuca. I'm just looking for that word because it's got to be if this if my trail of thought is right it's got to be either a road or a, an apartment name look at these names though Nicky Bocco Wanapa Aricock I'm going to go for it, man. I'm, I'm going to just really gamble here because while lots of things add up, I really could be on the other side of the earth.
genuinely. I don't know the flag for Curacao. I don't know the, the license plates. I don't remember, guys. I don't remember. Um, there's certain things that add up, which I've explained. The only other thing is, are we... Could we be somewhere in Africa? But I just don't think there'd be that much wealth up there. Look at that. No way. Unfortunately, for Africa, I don't think that's right. So, I'm just going to go for it. I literally just thought about Rwanda. You are kidding. Oh, God. Wait a minute. That is a really hard one to take for, for various reasons. Not only have I offended the whole continent of Africa, but as I said that, I don't know whether I hovered my mouse on R Rwanda, but I thought to myself, Rwanda is one of those places that's quite built up now and it's had quite a lot of investment. But I thought, nah, it can't be Rwanda. Don't know why, just thought we were by the, near the sea or just dismissed it. And the other thing that makes it worse, we were by Kigali Genocide Memorial honoring the Rwandan genocide which, in which millions of people were brutally murdered. Um, like that's where we actually were. We weren't at a swanky apartment in the Caribbean. Oh my God. I'm sorry, people of Rwanda. That must have been really annoying for you. And we were looking at, yeah, like the the business district of Kigali up on the hill. But the, the, the flag. Oh, my God. See, I thought, oh, yeah, I see it now. The blue bit is bigger. I thought it was just equal, like the French flag, vertical strips, but... Yeah, that is bigger. It's just all scrunched up. It's caught in the clutches of this tree. If I'd have seen the star, maybe I'd have got it. I don't know. Man, that has ended that on a really bum note and a somber note. Let's view the summary. 15716. How many of you got that last round? How many of you got Rwanda? I'm sure some of you did. How many of you got China? I'm sure some of you did as well. Apart from the first round, which still wasn't perfect, who would have thought that would be the closest one? Goes to show what a difficult map this is and what a good challenge this is going to be going forward to try and get... Why not try and get a perfect score uh, one day? But for the time being, try and beat this score. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because um, I've rambled on quite sufficiently for you. Um, the next video you see, I'm unsure, because next week I'll be filming the Dribbling Across Britain series. Um, I might make a video to kind of encourage some donations uh, for the charities uh, which I'll be raising money for. Um, but yeah, it's still going to be a little bit slow over the next, couple, over the next week or so. But all the same, I hope you're enjoying these GeoGuessr videos. I'm having fun doing them. And I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching and take care.